Hi there, Hughes Nurseries here, and this is our second video in our auction series, and we'll pass you on to uh, Stephen to explain the process of uh, this uh, cool hay structure. Right, today you're just making a basic hay tripod. These are used in countries where you don't have reliable weather for making hay, Wales being one of them. Um, so all I've done is taken three old bits of wood, tied the top together to secure it, make sure it's nice and steady, and then about every foot put a line of old baler twine, another good use for old baler twine. So what you're actually going to do is you're going to be draping some of this hay here gradually onto the string. And what happens is you keep the centre open, you have to make a little chimney later so that the air can circulate. And the idea being that when we've put lots of um, the wet grass on here, it'll end up creating a big sort of rounded structure that will actually sh shed rain. So I'm going to keep cracking on here for a while and then we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now you can see that it's starting to take shape. We've been loading this up with some wet grass here. Um, there's an entrance there for the air to come through and if you look over the top you can see that we've left the middle clear. So we're just going to keep on loading this up. Okay. Okay, so we've nearly finished now. The hole is still in there. We kept it up almost to the middle of where we are, but we're now starting to put the dome top on. So we're nearly finished. Okay, so we've been piling stuff up carefully around the edge to build it right up to the top. We've only got the top poking up. So we're just continuing to drape material around it. So you want quite long hay near the top. And now, once we've done that, we're actually just going to cover it with hay, and then we need to comb it, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so we're now putting the finishing touches on it. Remember, our ventilation hole is still there. Don't cover that up while you're doing this. And you want your long bits, as I said, going over the top. So I'll just put this piece here as the last one. Okay, once you've got that settled like that, some of it will come off. But what we want to do is we want to comb it just a little bit with the idea that it's going to shed water. Make it a nice rounded shape. So we'll just do the finishing touches. Okay, so here we have the finished article. We've just used the pitchfork to sort of comb it down to encourage water to shed off if it does rain. If not, um, it doesn't matter. We're hoping that it might be dry. The other thing is, once you've combed it, you need to go around, tidy up your bit of mess to tidy it up and you start collecting your stuff for the next bit. And we've got the whole orchard to do, so this is the first of many. Okay, thanks very much for watching.